Kiste 3 11 5. Work based on the National Curriculum Description Levelers. This is level 5 and we're going to be looking at algebra. Collecting like terms. Simplify the following is how they usually phrase it. Now these are called like terms because they're all C. These are like terms because they're Y and these are like terms because they're A. So collecting like terms. 5C minus 2C is 3C. Add on 8C will give you 11C. Take away 3C will bring you back to 8C. Is that right? Seven plus minus five. It is eight C yeah. Now let's look at the Ys. We've got eight uh, eight Y there and six Y there, which is fourteen Y. We've got minus seven A and some more minuses there, minus six A. Minus seven A and minus six A is minus thirteen A altogether. Now these are the like terms, A, B, A, B, A, B, P, Q, P, Q. So let's look at the P, Q's first. Doesn't matter which we do first. So we've got 7 P, Q there, 2 P, Q there. They're all pluses, so it's plus 9 P, Q. Doesn't matter if you put the plus there or not. We've got plus 7 A, B there. Take away 1AB, which will give us 6AB, and then take away 5AB, which will leave us with plus 1AB. It doesn't matter if you put the 1 in or not. Now what have we got here? We've got N, 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 they're like terms. We've got MN, we've got MN, here we've got NM. Well actually, it doesn't matter when it's round the other way. So, let's do the N's first. We've got 10N, plus another 1 there, which will give us 11N. We've got minus 4MN, minus 8MN, which is minus 12MN, plus 1MN, which will give us minus 11MN. Collecting like terms and simplifying. Drawing graphs parallel to the axes. So graphs parallel to the x-axis and graphs parallel to the y-axis. Draw the following graphs. x equals 5. Here's the x-axis and here is x equals 5. So any coordinate along this line will have an x-value of 5. So we call that the graph of x equals 5. Whenever you draw a graph, always label it. So if that passes through the x-axis at 5, and it's x equals 5, then y equals 2 must go through the y-axis, like that, at y equals 2. x equals minus 2, must pass through the x-axis at x equals minus 2. x equals 0. Now if that's x equals 5, that's x equals 4, x equals 3, x equals 2, x equals 1, this is x equals 0. In other words, the y-axis has an equation of x equals 0 y equals minus 3 is going to go across the page through y equals minus 3. y equals 1 is going to go across the page through y equals 1. y equals 0 is in fact the x-axis. x equals minus 3 
is going to go straight down through x equals minus 3.